Welcome to the One Berry Lane Podcast. We have in the principal's office today members of our outstanding Tatler staff, led by Mrs. Myers. Let's go around the room and introduce uh, each one of these uh, students. I'm Kevin Mackey. I'm a freshman. I'm new on the staff. Um, My name is Hallie Van Curen, and I'm a senior, and this year I'm the editor of the Tatler. My name is Kyra Leffert. I'm a senior, and I also, this is my first year joining Tyler. Hi, my name is Jerrica, um, and I'm a sophomore, and this is also my first year on staff. And Mrs. Myers, beyond, be, besides just being the advisor for the Tatler our year, but what else do you do at Logansport High School? Uh, I am the student council uh, co-sponsor, and um, I teach English 12. How many years have you been teaching at Logansport High School? Um, I'm finishing my 27th year. Congratulations. Thank that's you. That's great. That, that's outstanding. So, recording this, so we, we actually got the book in today, which is really exciting. <laughs> Wasn't expecting it because we've had this on the books for about a week and a half. Uh, so, you know, the Tatler, a rich tradition, the school yearbook, you know, every high school has a different name for their yearbook. Our, the Tatler goes back to 1907, I believe, mm-hmm. as a former proud member of the Tatler staff when I was in high school and with Mr. Homer Clausen. Oh my gosh, yes. I uh, was the uh, sponsor at that time. I have really fond memories of being a part of gosh, what, what's really a capstone to every school year for students. It becomes even extra special for the senior class as it's their outgoing uh, tattler. So let's let's kind of just talk about each one of your roles, your role in the tattler uh, staff. Whoever wants to go first. Well, so because I'm new um, and I joined mid-year because I did journalism first semester, I'm not in an editorial position. But I created, or I, I didn't create, I designed, like I made the pages, I made the band page, pages, and the softball pages, um, which the so- softball's in the supplement, but band is in the main book, and they look fantastic. So in order for him to do those things, what did you have to do, Calvin, to make that, to create that page? Well, so Especially for softball. The big parts of band were over, so... I couldn't really photograph much, as well as being in band. But for softball, you, like, I'm a manager, so I'm already there. But I just have to take my camera, and I go, and I take pictures of the girls warming up. And I got some really great pictures. It's really fun. And, and so he'll take those pictures he takes and sorts through them. Uh, puts the the top 20 of the ones he likes or however many that came out on the Google Drive and then he will select from those which ones go in the book. Uh, You wrote the captions. Yes, Uh, we write all the captions for our page and we we choose the pictures ourselves um, of course following the rules of your book design. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) Hallie, what what inspired you to get into Tatler, and what's your uh, role on the staff? Um, I first joined the yearbook in general in middle school in sixth grade because um, one of my older sisters, she was in yearbook (coughs) at her college, and she loved it. And so then I joined. And then freshman year, it didn't fit into my schedule, so I joined sophomore year. And then I've just loved it ever since. (laughs) Miss Myers is so much fun. And it's really cool to, (laughs) at the end of the year, for the book to come in. And it's much larger than the middle school book. And so it's just much more exciting. It feels more, much more of an accomplishment. Yeah, absolutely. Ira, what inspired you to be uh, get on the uh, Tatler staff? And what do you do on the Tatler staff? So at the beginning of the year, I was an original member. But Mrs. Myers came up to me because I had originally told one of the original staff members, Amy Benninger, that I was interested in joining last year. But I just didn't, I didn't have it in my schedule at that point. So I joined, I think it was like the fifth day maybe, mm-hmm. and I've been on it, yeah, I've been on it since then. I just, I love Tatler since then, it's so much fun. And, 
What do you, I mean, is it the writing aspect of it, the computer aspect of it, getting to new just, friends, maybe that yeah, you meet, new, new people. The staff did. members are so much fun. I just love the, <laughs> I just love the environment. It's so much fun. And Ms. Myers, like I said, Miss Myers is so much fun. So she makes it a lot more fun. It's, re it's relaxed, but intense. Yeah. Deadlines. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of pressure. There's definitely deadlines. I mean, <laughs> you, know, there, you guys, you, you, there, there you have a lot of weight on your shoulders. Yeah. As this is the big thing, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the the culmination throughout the year. Jerrica, what, what about you? Why did you uh, decide to get on Tatler and journalism a part of that path for you? Um. So I mean, starting like I mean, technically in eighth grade, I saw the opportunity to do journalism. And I saw Tatler, and I was like, what is Tatler? I was like, oh, it's the yearbook. And I was like, that's so cool. Like, I would love to be a part of that. It's a great opportunity, and it is a lot of fun. Um, and I was going to do it last year, but it didn't happen. I wasn't fitting in. Um, so then when I got the opportunity to do this, this year, I was like, yes, I am doing it. And I've done it since the beginning of the school year, and it's been a lot of fun. In elective <laughs> class for Logansport High School students, you, you we get seven periods, right? Seven mm -hmm. classes to choose. It's hard to fit yeah. beyond just the core mm -hmm. classes. Mm -hmm. You might get a couple electives in there every year to choose, and uh, you, you have to prioritize what you yeah. want to do. Yeah. So it's good you can be able to squeeze in at least a little bit of the, uh, yeah. within your high school career. Yeah. So, Mrs. Myers, let's talk a little bit about... Uh, how did you come up? How do you come up with choosing a theme? Well, because yeah, you guys, I know. the last few years, you guys have come up with some just awesome yearbooks and Thank design you. and the so cover, and, and it's it's amazing. And really, you guys have done an outstanding job. So, how do you guys come up with a theme? Well, um, this actually started last year. We started thinking about what do we want to do this year, and I, I think it was Hallie who. You said something about an old school poster, and what mm -hmm. poster were we looking at that you loved? I think it was maybe the Titanic. It was the Titanic, yeah. yes. Yeah. So we found an old, she goes, oh, look at this. And then, believe it or not, this um, design for our cover now came from a, a, a poster we saw online. Mm -hmm. And we got the um, the colors, we love the colors, and then uh, Justin's, I mean, you know, Felix, yeah. it's right. just so It's hard not, not wonderful. to incorporate Felix somewhere in there. But it's not to say that every tower has to be red and black, right? I mean, right. it doesn't have to right. be. Even though throughout the years I've looked at a lot of towers, I mean, there's some that are named close to being red and black. So it's good to mix it up a little bit. Yeah, yes. And then once we decided um, the old school poster, I think we just... Connor, Connor Shannon had the idea of doing like a blockbuster hit thing. Yes. Yeah. And we all really loved that. And Shout so, out to Connor Shannon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so it just kind of snowballed from there. And then Hallie, um, because I, uh, Hallie had double duty, she was also the design <laughs> editor. And so it was Hallie, and she and I would you know, go back and forth, but she came up with the majority of it. Well, we'll, we'll really get a good picture of that here in a, in a bit. Of, uh, and maybe we'll get a little inside uh, scoop of some of the of the Tatler before it's fully released here. So I do also want yeah. to say about this year's Tatler that it was designed twice. <laughs> um, yeah. And so these kids are incredibly patient with me, but we sent um, our previous yearbook in to be evaluated by um, uh, uh, judges. Yeah, yeah, journalism judges. Through Jostens? Uh, no, nope. through um, An type Indiana program. High School. Oh, okay. the press association. Yeah, the Press Association. Oh, and um, they came back with some suggestions, and so we changed. Edit. We Put did. We oh, did. Pause. Stop, like, stop the press. Yes, it was, it was after <laughs> fall, and so we redesigned well, everything. I think that shows you guys' commitment to wanting to be the best that you can Correct. get out of it. Mm -hmm. and, and, yeah. and, you know, Constructive criticism is great. Whatever you do, that's how we get better. Yes. And if you, you got some expert, a lot of eyes on it looking, give them some critiques, and let's let's go. With exactly. It. And great. so we now have um, a uh, feature photograph, and we've included um, more writing in it. Well, see, that's good. that's that going above and beyond. That in the long run, everybody will be happy with that you yeah. did. did oh, we're so like happy. That. Yeah. So Originally, that would be. We didn't do the paragraphs, and then we added started doing paragraphs. Correct. Okay. Yeah. So originally we didn't have the paragraph in there, oh, and really? so now, yeah. for a couple, yeah. yeah, we didn't do it. Yeah. Didn't yeah. Do it. Mm -hmm. So now we do. 
So that could be in the part of my next question. Like, what were uh, what are some of the challenges that you faced while working on the yearbook? Was that the main challenge, or do you guys come across any challenges this year? Well, um, sometimes um, you have to light a fire under people to <laughs> make their <laughs> deadline. <laughs> But really, for the most part, no, there wasn't anything like that stopped us from doing anything. I mean, you know, with COVID, that was a little different. Mm -hmm. With hybrid, I mean, but this year, I mean. The biggest part was mostly just having people make deadlines. Yeah. <laughs> and the techie in me, like what well, program, you do it all online now, mm -hmm. right? When I start, when we did in high school, we had these old Apple II SCs. I mean, nothing like, you know, you guys are thinking of with a Macintosh. They were Macintosh SCs, but I mean, there wasn't cloud-based or anything like that. Everything was like on little mini floppy disks. And but, so what program did you, do you use? InDesign to create it or some on, did just purely online? Justin's. Justin's website. So you just yes. put it directly on there. That's probably why there's such a quick turnaround on these books. Yeah, because everything is... Like everything is there. And what is really cool about Justin's is like a couple of years ago, when you design, you want to do pictures mm -hmm. and you might want, oh, like, I don't think I want this. And you want to have a gutter or a place on the page to put it. And I asked, why don't we have one of those? Why can't I throw stuff to the side and maybe pull it back in? Well, now we can. So that is one really great thing about Justin's is they take suggestions. Like one of them, I made a timeline and we didn't have any curves. To make a timeline, it was only straight lines. Straight lines, mm -hmm. and again, Justin's changed and like updated and revamped, so now we can do those things. Right. That's so nice. It is. Wow. Yeah, that is. Yeah. Can you uh, anybody share like a memorable experience or story uh, uh, from your time on your book staff? Homecoming was so much fun because me, Jerica, Ashanta, who was on it. Uh, last Shanta semester. Curry, right? And yeah. And Miss Myers were all taking pictures, and we took this one picture that's in the book <laughs> where I'm like crying, laughing so hard because we took the picture with the flash on. It was just so funny. Yeah. I think yeah. that was like actually one of my favorite moments from yeah. Tyler. It was so funny. Just homecoming homecoming was so much fun. fun. Yeah. Yeah, that's always a special time of uh, year. <laughs> Any other memorable moments this year yeah. uh, on Tatler's <laughs> staff? You know you got one. Come on. <laughs> um. <laughs> all of us just have a lot of fun in Tatler. So like every day is a fun day. So yeah. we all like today we were playing a card game in class and we were all laughing so hard. Yeah. So every day is just really fun. Yeah. You, Mrs. Myers, you you always have memorable moments. Oh, well, I was just thinking when we did the 150, um, that was really cool because in the 150 edition of the of the Tatler, we put old school photos on every page. Mm -hmm. So that meant we looked through all of these old yearbooks. And I remember Hallie and I were back there going, oh, look how cool. Oh, I know. So I, I, yeah. I mm -hmm. spent time, because we, we keep from 1907 all the way up in the fireproof vault, mm -hmm. a copy of every yearbook and multiple copies. And so I, I can get back there in the summer sometimes and I get in a little rabbit hole. Right? You just keep looking at, at old mm -hmm. photos. And I, I mean, I love looking back to some of those early ones with the sports teams and, and the clubs and the orchestra. And, and I mean, it's amazing. And oh, the, my God. You know, it's so ties cool. And yeah. the long dresses. Yeah. That's yeah. That's definitely one of my favorite parts about being on staff is being in that room every day and looking at yearbooks and finding my parents' pictures. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So we had a really great time this year with Magpie staff. Um, uh, we had a Halloween party. We had a Christmas party. <laughs> and, and that was fun. Was it? Where do we go? Where do okay, we go? You know, you know. Oh. yes, you know's pizza. So we had a really good time with both of those. Events. Well, that's that bonding that happens mm -hmm. with a group that is so invested, like a team, right? You mm -hmm. practicing all the time, working on this, rolling up your sleeve, so committed, and helping each other out. That's just special, and you know. One of my favorite memories from this year, and these guys were kind of in it. So my husband and I were fortunate enough to go to Paris, and yeah. I came back with um, everybody got a beret. Oh, nice! Except and for me, because I was a yeah. yeah. Everybody got a beret, and I I will tell you, I left uh, a pair of pants and a pair of shoes in Paris just so I could bring those home. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, you didn't want to get. Yeah, you were over over the weight on your luggage. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's your uh, 
favorite section of this year's uh, yearbook? Anybody have a favorite section? <laughs> Calvin, you might, yours might be sports related, right? So. Um, I really do enjoy sports. I like looking at the clubs a lot, seeing all the different opportunities that we have here and who's all in each club, as well as looking at my beautiful self. <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, but no, I really, I, I enjoy looking at sports. I, the entire book is really, it's, it's just amazing because I've always wanted to be a part of a yearbook staff and I never got like the opportunity. Nobody ever offered it to me in middle school. And so now that like, it's you you have to take a prerequisite class to take it and like anybody gets the opportunity as long as you've taken one of the prerequisites it's just kind of amazing to see all of this hard work that we've all done come together but this year i especially love the blooper page blooper, okay we'll look at we'll look out the for blooper the blooper page, page but i love homecoming like yeah, looking at homecoming mm -hmm. pictures and just seeing how fun yeah. e how much fun everybody has all the candidates walking the the fifty yard line um and and the king and queen yeah. Joseph and Hallie <laughs> um, yeah um, what about you Hallie you got a favorite section my favorite page is the be real page just because it kind of shows real? yes what's that be real is is like this the song <laughs> line thing where you take a picture and it's a real is that the it's is like, it based on that Right, right. Yeah. So every you know exactly what's going on in the moment. Everybody to random, and from. Okay, I'm gonna get a little sneak peek here. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna hide yeah. it from everybody. <laughs> sneak peek. Yeah. It's an app where you it sends um, a notification at a random time of day, and you have to take a picture of whatever you're doing at that time. And so it just showcases how everyone is just having fun, and it's more of just the easygoing pages and. Yeah, it just everyone looks like everyone yeah, looks like they're yeah, having yeah, so yeah. much no, that's fun. Great. And it. it's amazing, so you know. And, and and I know those are all taken on regular uh, smartphones. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they look yeah, pretty, they look pretty yeah. good. I know. The phones have gotten so good on I that. Know. They, they look that looks good. Yeah. Okay, so that is that's yeah, the be real. Everyone just looks like they're having yeah. a yeah. great time in each photo. Kyra, what about you? Your favorite section. I don't or, know. I think I have page. to agree with like the Spirit Week and Homecoming okay. Weeks. I yeah. Like but I also like the pages I did. I'm really happy with my gymnastics page. It looks, okay. I really mm -hmm. like my gymnastics mm -hmm. page that I did. She mm -hmm. got good photo selection. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And get some some good action shots there. That's where you need. I don't think I personally was able to go. Oh, the so some, somebody took the it pictures. Was, it was it was people bought. Yeah. I didn't yeah. Pick them and put them I in. found that as I take pictures on my phone at certain events gymnastics a little bit harder to get those action shots yeah. clear with the regular phone you need the mm -hmm. the camera you know the the canon or what do you guys use mm -hmm. is it canon yeah. the, the canon yes. uh, eos eos whatever they yeah. are and then the rebel yeah yeah yeah, yeah. what about you uh, jerica what's your favorite uh section or page um i mean <laughs> I think there are a lot of good pages. I do enjoy the ones that I personally did, I guess, like not designed, but worked on because um, it's it's awesome to see the work that you put in. And yeah, I don't know, maybe the bloopers. The bloopers, <laughs> okay. Five yeah. Of them. She's that, in five of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about the class pages, right? The individual uh, pictures of the, the students. Composite. Yeah, the portraits. Yeah, those are... Mm -hmm. But that's our partnership, right, with uh, uh, with Interstate Studio and meshing together with Jostens and getting all the actual student pictures in there yeah. per mm -hmm. class, per grade level. I, I kept hearing the, the term supplemental mm -hmm. mentioned. Yeah. What's the, what is the supplemental? What does that mean? So um, our supplement is our spring section because um, when I took over the yearbook, I thought it was really important that when a kid graduates from here, they have all of their their whole year together. And well, that that's been the ongoing. You know, do you do a supplement or do you wait and give? Because I've seen it differently. Here, know. You know, wait until the fall when distribution happens. But I like the supplement. Right. So what we do is. Um, we, uh, so it's really just a show, a preview of what's going on. Cause it's, it's done. I mean, mm -hmm. we've already turned it in the supplement and actually it also came today. So with the supplement, we, um, talk about what the team did last year. So when you read the paragraph, you'll see how they did last year because, you know, we didn't mm -hmm. report that. And then what they're looking for this year. And that will be all the spring sports. We have a couple ads in there. We have something special to uh, and uh, for a um, 
somebody who's retiring this year, and I'm really excited for him to see that. Uh, so great, yeah. And it, it's it came. So what we do is it has um, a piece of tape on the back. We open the book and we actually put it in because I'm afraid that if we just give it to kids, they won't put it in, right. and then they lose it. And that so we put it in the book and then hand them out. So. Excellent. That's great. I'm happy we can do that. Yes. How do you involve the student body uh, in the creation of the Tatler? Um, well, specifically for the Be Real page, I had contacted a bunch of the seniors and asked for their just their favorite Be Real from the entire year. And then they sent me one or two. And then from there, we decided on which Be Real we would choose. And then we've done student quotes and the portraits. Um, but those are from journalism class. So the journalism class did some uh, interviewing for us. And so we have those question and answers in there. Uh, we've included CCC. So Finley mm -hmm. Henninger is usually re was responsible for that. And so we go and film like in their classes, all the stuff that the Career Center is doing. Um, we include the like we have um, Kiss the Pig. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so I heard about involve, the eight. Yeah, exactly. So we involve the kids by going in and taking uh -huh. pictures. <laughs> right here, the big winner of Kiss the Pig. I took pictures for that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we involve the student body just, well, and then they have to check their portrait. Yes, I was going to, th you know, I was thinking about that. I, I try to emphasize that on the morning announcements because that's so important. So it's like, important. kids, go to the G1 hallway, look at your name. We don't want to mess up your name if you see it. Did you have some that were wrong? And they yes, let you they know? Excellent. Yeah, yeah, they came and yeah. told me. Because that's the last thing. I mean, there's, and again, there's so many certain things that we do or you can do there's a lot of opportunities to mess up right in a year but there really is oh, i mean there's yeah. certain there's just a lot of there's so many moving parts yeah. so much text so many pictures trying to match them up edits that there's a lot of opportunities and to get it almost all rights mm -hmm. quite an accomplishment yeah. I think Miss Myers and I have spent hours I know. on this on this book, just editing it, going through, reading the captions, just hours. Yeah. And it honestly, it kind of flies by when you're doing it because you just get in this kind of roll with it. But it's yeah. It's, yeah. And the goal is to always be done by spring break. Uh, actually, now Justin wants us done by March first. Wow. Okay. Yeah, and then after spring break, um, we that's when we do the supplement, and the supplement has a three week turnaround, so we have to get it in to make sure that it's here for when we distribute. Okay. And so yeah, um, I think a really nice way that we include the student body is when we do superlatives, especially oh, yeah. oh, because the senior superlatives, we, yeah. senior superlatives, and this year, wait, can I tell them about? Oh, sure. Teacher superlatives. So we did um, teachers for Prelos for the first time. And I think they're so funny. Mm -hmm. um, Do you have an example of one? They're in the supplement. Okay, we'll have to um, wait and see. But, like, we we come up with all the categories. We've introduced some new ones. We've, we've kept some old ones. Mm -hmm. And we send out a survey to the entire senior class. Yeah. And they fill it out. Like, they're, like they, they put who they think would be voted for pro gamer. For, per se and um and then we get them and we take the goofiest pictures <laughs> we get the winners and we take the goofiest <laughs> pictures of of them and some of <laughs> is that like uh principal of logan sport high school yes. yeah and then they like, sit and they always come and request to sit right there and like... superlatives <laughs> and... yeah 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 and so this year, the ones we added, which I thought was hilarious, was best bromance. <laughs> oh, yeah? So two, two um, guys that have been, you know, buddies, yeah. Ever. And then, oh, dynamic duo dynamic for duo. Um, the girls. So the, senior, the superlatives we do are also fun because we can Photoshop backgrounds mm -hmm. um, on there, and those are kind of fun. We also yeah. did that with class yeah. officers. Yeah, oh, oh class yeah. officers. Um, that was done by Connor Shannon, and he did each class like a is it like a Mean Girl, poster. yeah, a movie, movie poster. poster. So um, my class was Mean Girls. Yeah. <laughs> no. So it's really cute that the. the um, Class officers. It's on page fifty-three. That was the the juniors was 
inside out. Make sure to get the mics there. The yep. juniors were inside out. The seniors were legally blonde because oh. we were all females. And like half of us were like wanting to go into law. And so <laughs> we were all going to. So we did a legally blonde. Then the freshman class did. Oh, you guys did Mean Girls. We did mean sophomores did uh, men in black yeah men in black and the men in black looked really really cool cool. yeah Yeah. but he would take the picture in the green room in mr packard's room and then he photoshopped it to put us into the movie poster great so it's not just it's not just us Mm -hmm. i mean we incorporate mr packard mrs denny yeah mrs Mm -hmm. denny because she can cross curricular yeah we rely on lots of sure. other people yeah. to help us. Magpie. Oh, so, well, oh that, that partnership is great with journalism, yes. Magpie. Everything that makes up the publications department. In fact, this year we had Mrs. Myers and Mr. Piercy speak at the uh, September school board meeting because you guys are just rocking along and accomplishing so much in that. I wanted to make sure to get you you know, right there with the school board, Mrs. Starkey, to showcase yeah. our uh, our. Uh, just wonderful publications department. So let's see here. What would you, what type of advice would you give if there's a kid's thinking about going into a tattler? What type of interest should they have? Um, maybe some classes that they should take before getting into tattler. What, what should be that, that pathway? Um, definitely with like, I'm the freshest member, fre- freshest member yeah. coming out just last <laughs> semester. Um, uh, take journalism or photojournalism definitely because there's a lot of photography in here and with journalism you get more of the writing aspect but um, uh, take that class and then if you want to do it like do it because I I always wanted to be on yearbook staff because I thought it was so cool like I said but I never got to and I kind of gave up on that like I'm never going to get accepted I'm never like I'm not going to get invited. I'm, I, they don't like me. And so, but then I found out that I can do it and it's just so much fun. The energy of the staff and the bonding that goes on in that room and how close everybody gets is amazing. Um, a lot of hours together. (laughs) That's right. We have the hour class too. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, I think if anyone's interested in joining Tatler, then they should, because it's, just really cool to be able to say that you were involved in making the yearbook, um, especially when you want to look back on your memories and stuff after you graduate. You can say that I took that photo or I laid out this spread or I did this or this or this. And it's just it's fun to be a part of just at least once if you want to just try it. Great. I don't know. I think I could just say the same thing. Like, if you really want to do it, just do it. But I would say if you're not into, like, taking pictures or writing or anything, it's probably not the best thing for you. But if you're into that stuff and you love bonding with new people and making new friends, then it's definitely a fun class to join. Yeah, some kids probably always uh, associate it with, I have to be a good writer yeah. and a love of writing. No, there's a lot of other stuff mm-hmm. you can do within yeah, that. Yeah. It takes a lot of organization. It takes creativity. Right. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Um, I mean, just the same thing as like Holly and um, Kyra. Just, I mean, try it. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. And you don't have to do it the next year. It is, um, it is a learning experience. You learn a lot of new things. You have and to be willing to work to yeah. put in oh the work gosh, to do you it. You have to put yeah. in the work. That's what you're saying. If you're not, yeah, if you're not dedicated and you aren't like organized, I guess, and. Um, well, as fellow team members, you want everybody to pull their weight and oh, to, yeah, to you know, to do what yeah. they need to do. Yeah. yeah. Mrs. Myers, do you? Um, well, it's good if they have a skill. If they come on staff with a skill, and that might be um, they can they can take photographs. They know how to use a, a Canon camera or a, 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 can, a digital camera. Um, if they like to write. I Or um, what we haven't had in the last three years is a business manager. Now, the yearbook costs about thirty thousand dollars to a lot of people would not realize on how much and, that and costs i know whenever i say that people are like what so um i'd love to have a business manager because we, we sell ads we ha- i have to bill them i have to take the money in i have to work with finance you know to make sure i did i'm an english teacher so she has to make sure my math is right and um 
that right there would be like we I'm really looking for somebody who wants like a business manager who would like to do that. I did it the last couple of years. But it would be nice. Yeah. A kid take, needs to take do that, that. off. Yeah. Of you. We still have yearbooks for sale. Sir, uh, how much do they cost? Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars. Yep. That's a great value. Sixty dollars. Here's the here's the okay. cover <laughs> of this year. Yay! The cover. Oh yeah. So look at that. The uh, movie inspired him. with his hat on backwards. I just think it's so awesome. That is cool. Um, you got the school uh, seal there. So we have what's called uh, coming up. Signing party. Signing party. Tatler signing party, mm -hmm. which is May on May 16th. May 16th. Seventh period. And we'll be in the upper level level of the berry bowl. And so all the kids come down who, who bought one. And then if somebody wants to buy one, all they have to do is show their 60 bucks to their teacher. And that's their pass that's to come down. And we have pens all over the tables. And we'll have a DJ now that the books are in for sure. <laughs> and um, they'll ju we'll just spend the period listening to music and signing yearbooks. That sounds like fun. I know. Well, outstanding job to all of you. I, I greatly pr appreciate not only your creativity and talent, but the countless hours that you put into um, creating this wonderful archive uh, that goes down in the history of uh, Logansport High yeah, School. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah.